What's up guys, my name is Takia. I'm an orthodontic assistant. And today I'm gonna go over orthodontic appliances that you'll see typically in orthodontics. I do orthodontic and dental videos every Tuesday and I also do content with my family every Friday. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna start off with the more simple orthodontic appliances that you may see. And then I'm going to end with the more complex ones. So one orthodontic appliance that you may see in your practice is called a holding appliance. A holding appliance is basically just two little tooth rings, which we call bands, with like a bar that's connected. So you may have some patients who come in, they're sometimes waiting on permanent teeth to come in. For example, say if they already have all of the lower molars and they don't have any premolars on the lower. And when they don't present with any premolar, what you don't want to happen is for those molars that are already in to push up or to move anywhere. So in order to hold where those lower molars are and to keep them maintained, you want to hold them in place with an appliance. So the next orthodontic appliance is called a bite plate. So if you have a patient whose bite is really uncomfortable, their bite is just really tight and the upper teeth and lower teeth are hitting really close. Or if, for example, the lower teeth is just hitting the roof of the mouth, that can be really uncomfortable. So if we do have a patient who does present that, we will make them a bite plate. A bite plate typically looks somewhat like a holly retainer. You will have the acrylic right in the center and then you'll have just the armrests on the sides to click onto the teeth. We do have patients wearing bite plates with braces. Sometimes it's really uncomfortable in the beginning to get used to it because you have that bite plate sitting over the braces and then under the teeth and on the roof of the mouth. But over time you'll find that the patient finds that this is really more comfortable prior to what they was feeling without the bite plate. The next orthodontic appliance is called an expander. So you may have some patients who come in and their palate right here, the roof of the mouth is really shallow. When it's shallow like that, sometimes the teeth can be presented really closed and you can have the bite somewhat like this, just really off and more inner instead of perfect like that. So when the bite is, the upper is inward where it's like the teeth are like kind of like in the inside like that. And then the palate right here is really shallow. You will make an expander for the patient. So what the expander does over time, it will expand the upper palate. That's why it's called an expander. With your traditional expanders, you will have a small hole in the upper appliance. And in that hole, you will have to put a key in it and push it back. Once you put the key in it and push it back, that will be noted as one turn. The orthodontist will let the patient know how many turns they want them to do. And in turning the expander each day, you'll find that you're making an expansion and that the upper palate is expanding each time you turn the key. Most patients have to wear their expander for maybe six to eight months or maybe a year, just depending on your orthodontist. Once you've completed all of your turns that the orthodontist has told you to do, you will find that you have to keep your expander in for a couple of months in order to hold all of the expansion that you have done. If you were to take your expander out as soon as you've completed all of the turns, you will most likely have your upper palate revert back to how it was before. And you don't want that to happen, so that's why they'll require you to keep your expander in a couple of months after you finished all of your key turns. Another orthodontic appliance is called a leaf expander. It's just like the traditional expander except it will expand on its own and it doesn't require you to put the key in the hole and to turn it. So it looks just like your traditional expander except it doesn't have a hole for key turning and it just sits on the palate of the roof of the mouth. It does the same thing that the expander does, the traditional one. It expands the upper palate 
and in expanding the upper palate you'll find that it will adjust the patient's bite the next orthodontic appliance is called a herps appliance so herps appliances are used when your upper jaw is more forward than the lower jaw so when your bite is like this like you have a overjet like that what the herps appliance is going to do over time is pull the upper jaw back so that your bite is then perfect like that so the herps appliance you'll see that it has little bars on the side and it's cemented on the upper and the lower with little tooth caps so instead of having your like traditional orthodontic bands which are like little tooth rings you'll have tooth caps on the upper and lower teeth that are connected to the bars on the upper and the lower and upper and the lower over time you'll just see it work and pull back your next appliance is called carriers so this is similar to the herps appliance in that you're going to have ultimately the same goal again when a patient is presented with an overjet like this instead of using the herps appliance you can use carriers Carriers will push your upper jaw back to help align the teeth like this. With the carrier appliances, it's connected to the upper cuspid and it's gonna go back like that to the first molar. So you'll find that you'll have one on the left, one on the right. And with the carrier appliance, you will also wear elastics. So once you have your carriers applied on the upper left and the upper right, your orthodontist will tell you that you will be required to wear your elastics hooked up to the carrier appliance that sits on the upper cuspid and pulled back to the lower first molars. So over time, when you wear those elastics along with the carrier appliance, it's going to adjust the patient's bite. Another appliance that can be used, headgear. The headgear is an appliance that fits around the head and you'll have the patient wearing the headgear most likely at home you'll find that they will only recommend it to their younger patients you won't find any adult wearing a headgear appliance well those are typically appliances that you'll see in orthodontics you'll find that some practices will use maybe all of these appliances or some none at all or just a few well thank you guys so much for watching this video Go ahead and comment any questions you may have. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.